Hi, I'm Victoria Silvstep. I'm here at the Grand Prix Amber Fashion from Monte Carlo. I'm Tamara. I'm Petra. We love Fashion TV. Hi, Fashion TV. We're here at the Grand Prix in Monte Carlo at Amber Fashion. Hello Fashion TV, this is Jerome D'Ambrosio, welcome to the Ember Lounge Fashion Show. I'm DJ Laura, coming to you live from Grand Prix Monaco. The most beautiful ladies at the Ember Fashion, it's always a great pleasure to talk to you, Tamara and Petra Ecclestone. Hello, how are you tonight? Yeah, we're really good, we're happy to be in Monaco, we're happy to be at Amber Lounge. We both missed it last year, so it's good to be back. Yeah, it's amazing to be here, the weather's great, it's slightly windy, but it's going to be a good night. I'm Matthew Williamson and you're watching Fashion TV, and welcome to my fashion show. We're expecting a great night with beautiful dresses by Matthew Williamson, my sister's going to be modelling. I'm presenting, I haven't even seen a script yet, so I'm a little nervous about that, but really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm wearing two amazing dresses. Tamara looks stunning. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. such fun, I love the show, it was really great to be here, you know, I love Monaco, I come here every year and it's great to have an audience that really appreciates the work that I do, so it was a lot of fun. The collection for me was about making a, putting three seasons together into one collection that I felt the audience tonight would really appreciate, so lots of glamour and sequins and embellishment and really, you know, sort of sexy, glamorous evening wear. So what do you think, is there any connection between Formula One and fashion? I think the glamour plays a huge part and yes, definitely. There are always beautiful ladies surrounding Formula One and it's definitely glamorous and I guess definitely there is influences of fashion and tonight's a good example of mixing Formula One, fashion and charity. It's a big connection, you know, fashion and Formula One are uh, both glamorous, especially because we see this kind of Formula One here in Monte Carlo and uh, I think all the drivers like to keep them uh, up to speed uh, with fashion and uh, this uh, quite a good excuse to follow fashion as well. Formula One attracts many people and many people love fashion. Uh, we're here in Monaco and it's a combination of a sport event but a glamour event. A lot of people come to watch this Grand Prix. It's really the place to be in the southern of France uh, during the weekend. So uh, yes, I think it's, it's two different worlds but that combined during the weekend. I love fashion. I've got also a little uh, brand, but uh, you know, modeling is not for me. <laughs> I'm much better seated in the car. Uh, I feel like a piece of wood when I walk on the <laughs> on the catwalk. But uh, what's fun? It's really two different things, you know. When you're in your car, you've got your helmet. You focus on what you got to do. But um, yeah, I must say it's a bit more stressful to be around here. Although we're having fun, it's it's very different here. You're on the eyes of everyone, just once at a time. Just kind of try to stay and uh, not to fall in the swimming pool. Ah, oh, for sure. A lot of connection. I mean, as we can see here, yeah, the whole uh, the whole weekend around the Monaco Grand Prix, it's all about fashion, glamour, everything, and I think that's what makes it very exciting. Also, I do this every year, but uh, it's a weird feeling for us. But for once a year is okay. We prefer to drive, but uh, we are also nervous to walk on the catwalk. It's been a really beautiful event because there were uh, beautiful uh, people, beautiful guests, and uh, it's for charity. So that's the most important things. But I have to say that Monaco's atmosphere is always the best. Well, it's great because it's all for a charity, you know, and that's important, and that's what makes it a nice event, and, and also uh, for everybody joining, you know, afterwards with the auction and everything, it's, it's fantastic. Well, the auction today benefited the worldwide movement uh, of Special Olympics, which is sports all over the world for people with intellectual challenges. His Serene Highness has been a supporter of Special Olympics for four decades. Now she comes on as a formal global ambassador for us. She herself, a great athlete, obviously incredibly generous. We look forward to sending her all over the world after uh, their uh, wonderful marriage soon. I think this year it's really special because you have a the real royalties here, the royal wedding coming up soon and you have the athletes, you have the glamour, you have fashion, so it's all in one wonderful event 
and that's quite rare, you know, to have it all in, in the same uh, night. Such a fabulous turnout, and you have great celebrities here. I just met Kim Kardashian in there, and you have all the race car drivers, and you have uh, such an amazing uh, turnout as well. At 35, come on, ladies and gentlemen, I've got you at 30,000, but you can be 35 and 40 and 5 and 50 and keep doing. Uh, 30,000, though, I have your bid. 60! 65! <laughs> They're going 60! 70! 75! 75! 80! 80,000 euros! And he's giving it to the bride, ladies and gentlemen! She was bidding up and down for this beautiful diamond uh, necklace, uh, and she lost. But it was a, so much a beautiful touch that the man who won the bid decided with the victory to give the money to Special Olympics and the necklace to Charlene as a wedding gift. Uh, so it was a beautiful uh, night to celebrate love, to celebrate uh, human kindness, and to celebrate a hopeful uh, future for our movement. You're very, very busy, not only beautiful but also very hard working girls. This is the reason why we admire you a lot. You're launching the new hair care line and the new very luxurious handbags. Maybe you can tell us something more about that. Well, we're both very busy at the moment. I've just signed a deal to be the new face and body of Ultimo underwear, and I'm also launching my own um, hair care range, and I'm also filming a reality TV show, so I'm very busy at the moment. And my sister is launching amazing handbags. Uh, it's evening handbags for women using exotic skins and Swarovski crystals. I mean, I've got interest for, uh, for fashion, but in the very casual sense of, of it. So uh, let's say for every day, but nothing, nothing extreme. Uh. Um, as you are definitely the most beautiful girls in the Formula One surrounding, I have to ask you for your secret of your beauty. I think just to be confident and happy. And I think that if you're a good person on the inside, try and be a good person. It definitely shows on the outside. Yeah, I think beauty comes from within, which sounds really cheesy, but it's true. <laughs> Kim Kardashian, she just got engaged. You and her, you are two real beauties. What about your private plans? I think it's good to balance, but I keep my personal life very private. I say to nobody what, who, when and what, because that's how it lasts. I think when you throw it out too much out there, it never works. So I did that mistake before, so now I'm just like, balance it out, you know? But uh, if it happens, it happens. I, I'm just kind of a girl that just go with the flow. I never make plans, so it's quite naive, but it kind of it kind of works for me. <laughs> it's uh, beautiful to be here in the harbor with all these boats and uh, this glamorous uh, atmosphere and people. It's a special uh, city, it's a special Grand Prix, and I think everybody is upset on Sunday when it's, when it's over. Everybody is admiring you because, as I said before, you're really hard-working and beautiful girls. Maybe you can send an advice to all the girls outside uh, looking up to you and admiring you, what they have to do for being successful in their life. I think follow your dream, never give up. I just think the sky is the limit and never stop believing. I think, uh, yeah, I think a lot has changed. Women are becoming more empowering and powerful, so I don't think there's a difference between sex-wise. We love Fashion TV! Yes, Fashion TV is one of the best channels to watch when you're around, around the world because uh, it keeps you uh, upgraded with all what's going on in different countries, different uh, nations, and uh, it's always uh, one channel to follow and uh, it keeps you up updated with the times. You're so beautiful. What is the secret of your beauty? I eat chocolate every day before I go to bed. If not, I cannot sleep. <laughs> I'm like a baby. I need my little dose of ch milky chocolate. <laughs> I'm a really bad girl. I'm Matthew Williamson and I love fashion TV. I love fashion TV. I watch it when I go to bed, every night when I'm eating chocolate. Hi, I'm Vito Antonio Liuzzi. We are here in Monte Carlo for the Formula One Grand Prix and I love fashion TV. We always watch the parties on fashion TV, especially from Monaco. I love fashion TV. I love fashion TV.